Thank you for having us. I'm a native Austinite, a scientist, and a mother, and I'm here in favor of the current textbook versions. My peers and I agree we must not let our science standards slip. There are real costs to Texans when science education gets compromised. I'll share four examples that keep me up at night. One, this year, Texans paid to investigate and clean up a measles outbreak near Fort Worth. Irresponsible church leaders there had been spreading junk science and discouraging the use of vaccines. Every dollar spent on that mess was needed dearly elsewhere. Two, climate change deniers say that the seas aren't really rising. A century ago, my family came to Texas via Galveston. Now, coastal evacuation routes will soon be below sea level. If denial means we wait for a Katrina-sized disaster with whole communities cut off and stranded in a storm, we will all suffer at home and in our state budget. Three, Texas students have told me the message in the classroom is that condoms don't work, so don't use them. Without scientifically accurate information, we have the worst teen pregnancy rate in the nation, and Texas taxpayers pay for the majority of births in this state every year. As for evolution, our seniors encounter it every day in our hospitals. Every year, tens of thousands of Texans acquire bacterial and viral infections in hospitals where germs keep evolving whether we teach evolution or not. Texans who don't understand evolution and adaptation may fail to complete their courses of antibiotics, hastening the day when superbugs emerge in our communities. We will not get ahead of these public threats and public costs without accurate science education. We share too much infrastructure and too many community costs to compromise on this. Parents and religious leaders can teach what they want elsewhere. In our classrooms, I stand up for science. Thank you. Okay, thank you.